all of this is about building a closer connection to animals, which is an Irwin trademark from the beginning with Steve and Terry. And I have never felt more connected to the Irwins than right now. And she'll smell what's going on with that tongue. And they like interacting, it's so special. They like interacting with Robert, right? Oh, there she goes. Isn't she gorgeous? But it's so nice for people to have the opportunity to come here and get to know animals they might not know. And some you do. Very good. She smells like eucalyptus. She does. She smells kind of like a cough drop. It's very special. You just want to know what it feels like to touch them. And I think, too, when you hold them and feel them and smell them, it makes you want to help them. Oh, this is little Morgan. Help them and heal them. He was actually attacked by a dog. The Australia Zoo has treated more animals in their hospital than in any other hospital of its kind in the world. We started off obviously just with a few hundred animals a year and it skyrocketed up to sort of six, seven thousand plus. What is the biggest problem for these animals? The biggest problem is humans, unfortunately. Um, so cars. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> yeah, cars on the road, the domestic pets that we keep and the barriers we build that block animals from passing. Very small little nest in there as well. Birds is our largest intake, but certainly we see a lot of koalas, kangaroos, quite large sea turtles as well. Oh, Don't do you have any sea turtles on the premises? Not, not at the moment. That's good that they're not being hurt. <laughs> and all of this funded by the Australia Zoo. We rely on donations effectively. There's no one else paying for this. So cute. Well, my father was a doctor, so I'm feeling that urge to... Ah, the nurturing. ...to stitch something. Yeah. No. <laughs> and as for stitching... We find people, particularly in the fashion industry, meet someone like Jenny and say, oh, we need to be responsible about not using animal products like wildlife in the fashion industry. Or wildlife for any industry. Amazing to interact with a very hungry white rhino. Daytime. <laughs> He's beautiful. He's like a 2.2 ton puppy dog. And because this 2.2 ton puppy dog has a horn, he would not be safe in the wild. So we've got two out the back here that you can see. We've got a very successful breeding program here, which um, is phenomenal for educational purposes. Where our money and our focus goes is on their rhino conservation. I'm tapping in.